Hi everybody, welcome to the Make a Chair. So today I'm doing a review slash tutorial using these sponges. Now these became very popular over the last like year. A lot of companies are coming out with them. This one is by Blancovis Cosmetics. It's the newer formula. I know the older formula, um, some people said it's fallen apart. I don't think I had the older formula. I think I always had this one. This one is amazing. I haven't noticed any splitting. I bought some from uh, lovemakeup.com or .co.uk and that one did actually split pretty early on but another one that I got from, from there was totally fine. This one is amazing. There's a range of different colors. So there's like a yellow one, there's a pink one, you know, and this is the little purple one. So I want to do a little review slash tutorial on this showing you guys how it works but also talking to you about it. Basically what this is, it's a sort of typical sponge for applying your foundation but what this does differently to those ones is that it doubles in size when it's placed under water so you run this under water and it will just kind of expand and then that way you'll kind of get a softer spongier lighter airbrush look with your foundation and I actually use this for applying my powder which you'll see later on in the tutorial but I just love these I, I think there's not much I can say other than these are really 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 good super handy for applying makeup on pretty much everybody I use them day to day um, love them, love them, that's all I can really say. So keep watching for the tutorial. So I've already started by applying my moisturizer and I've applied my primer as well. Allow that some time to sink in. I'm just gonna tie my hair back. Basically, you put this underneath water and it will slowly increase in size and then kind of get squishy and soft and kind of really flexible so you can blend your makeup over your face, really kind of airbrush look to it. Foundation I'm using is my Bourjois Healthy Mix. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. I've been pretty much using this every day. Just take a little bit on the back of my hand. Now I'm gonna start off with a little tip in here and just work this from the center of my face where I need a little bit extra coverage. Getting around the nose. Underneath the eyes. And you can actually work this on the eyelid as well. And because it's nice and cold, because you place it under cold water, it's kind of chilly and, and refreshing to apply onto the face. I'm just going to work this all around the eyes. And I'm just dabbing it every time. I'm just kind of dabbing it and moving it along. So I'm not kind of sweeping it like this. It's just nice dabbing, soft motions. Work with the sponginess of it so it kind of bounces back off the face. When you're going over the eyebrows, just change it to a fairly clean side and just dab it so that you don't get too much like foundation onto your eyebrows. But obviously you want to get close and in and around the eyebrows because otherwise it'll just be like a stopping point. Now it doesn't matter what sponge you use. Whatever sponge that you're using, make sure that it's damp first of all because you will get better results from it. On the areas that I want a little bit extra coverage, I'm going to take the little tip here, dab it into the foundation, and then what I'm going to do is just press and kind of really, really press it in. And then just dab out any edges. If you find that there's any areas that are a little bit too caked in makeup and you want to soften it, just change the sponge around to this side here and just dab it in that area. So I tend to go just along the hairline. And just make sure that I don't have any kind of ten telltale signs of foundation. I also like to apply my powder with the sponge too, so I will use the bottom part and just kind of dab some powder onto here and then just stipple it once again, same motion, stippling it across the cheeks. Because you're applying it with a damp sponge, by the time it, the powder has kind of dried on the skin, it just sets the makeup rather than making it look kind of cakey or or too powdery because you are using the damp sponge so it just it's a little miracle worker this sponge and try it give it a go see what you think of it give it a go with the the powder technique and using the damp sponge and see what you think now you can you know sometimes disturb your powder but it will eventually just disappear and then it'll be fine that's how I like to apply my makeup with my magic sponge it's not called a magic sponge but I just refer to it as the magic sponge because it just makes your skin so flawless and I love it I love it so that you guys enjoyed that if you want to see how to wash these magic sponges then just click the link up here and it will take you to that video and I'll talk to you soon I'm Shani Katie and thank you so 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 much for watching bye bye